What's up Capricorn? This is going to be your love forecast for what's coming in for you guys between now and the end of December. That's December 15th through to the 31st. This is for my Cappy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love last two weeks of December. Any love messages for my Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of December. What can you tell my Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love second half of December. Temperance card, Seven of Wands, Empress. Page of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Okay, Capricorn, you've got an offer coming in and I'm not sure whether or not you're really willing to take it. We've got the Four of Cups here. So this is someone coming in, Page of Pentacles, an offer being made and Four of Cups is you sort of feeling a bit apathetic. I feel like you've been waiting a very long time for this offer. The Temperance card means it's been testing your patience. You could have been connected to this person for some time and perhaps Capricorn, by now you're not sure if you want it. Four of Cups, okay. We have the Empress and the Seven of Wands. So for some of you, this is a situation where you're feeling like you need to stand your ground. Maybe you're a bit standoffish with this person because it could be, like I said, this has tested your patience. By now, you're not too sure about it. Maybe you've moved on. Empress card is all about growth and expansion. So I feel almost Capricorn that you connected with this person at one point and in the time that it's taken for this person to come forward, you have grown and expanded and probably changed quite a lot. So now I feel like this person's probably seeing you very much in an Empress light, but now you're not, you're questioning whether or not this is for you. Now with the Empress card here, this is divine feminine energy. So this could actually be a divine counterpart that you're dealing with, twin flame or a soulmate. Um, this is also the wife and the mother figure. So for some of you that applies. Um, with the Temperance card, it is about divine timing. So it's possible that timing has been a factor with regards to this connection, with regards to this person, this is also kind of about balance. So perhaps you feel that something has been out of balance between you and this person. You're very much in Empress energy and you are standing your ground um, and you won't sort of take anything that is less than, um, you know, what you deserve. Empress knows her worth, her value. Again, guys, it's not, I say this every time in every video, it's not gender specific. You can also be um, a masculine and be in that Empress energy. Um, it just means that you're sort of you're very much in that kind of um, knowing your worth. Okay, let me get a little bit more on this temperance. Yes, exactly. The six of cups. Okay, so you do share memories with this person or you do have a history with this person with the six of cups, but with the six of pentacles and the temperance, it's like things have taken a long time. Six of pentacles is a card also about balance and reciprocity. And I think it's taken some time you know, for this person maybe to come forward and want to offer you that. I feel like you could have been connected to this person previously. Um, for some of you, this is an ex, but otherwise this is a person that maybe you have a history with. Uh, the Six of Pentacles is like sometimes that breadcrumbing energy. So perhaps for some time this person was breadcrumbing you. Um, and now, you know, you'd sort of maybe done with it. Okay. But I do feel like this person's now seeing you as as the Empress, maybe they're having an aha moment. Let me get a little bit more on the Empress energy. Um, yes, okay, the High Priestess. So you're very much an Empress energy and you're also very much tapped into your intuition now. Now I do feel like this connection could be a highly spiritual connection with that High Priestess card. You may have been in silence with this person for some time, um, but High Priestess can be that sort of telepathy. So you're connected to that person at that higher level. Um, but now also you're very tapped into your intuition and knowing, like I said, that you're only going to take what you deserve. Um, could be dealing with the Pisces. We've also got Libra, Taurus energy, Sagittarius energy with that temperance card, Aries, Leo, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, what else do we have? Knight of Cups. Exactly. So if you're in silence with this person, this is a person coming in wanting to make a loving offer with that Knight of Cups. Okay. They're very much seeing you, like I said, in a divine um, feminine energy. Knight of Cups can be apologetic energy as well. Let me get one on the offer, please, Spirit. What's this page of Pentacles? 
Yes, okay, the lover's card is in the reverse with the magician and the eight of pentacles upright. Okay, so they wanna come in and make an offer. Page of pentacles also can be apology. So the lover's card is in the reverse here. So I feel like for some time you felt Capricorn that this was a one-sided love. Okay, with the lover's card um, in the reverse, but it's like they're apologetic. They know that something um, between, there was something between you and they know that something didn't manifest correctly because they weren't putting in the effort. The magician card in the reverse. You also could have been dealing with someone that could have been a bit emotionally manipulative. When I have the magician in the reverse, it's like the shadow energy of the magician. I feel that you felt this was quite unrequited, four of cups energy, but I feel like this person's coming in to make an offer to put work or effort in with you with the eight of pentacles you see because i think maybe it's taken time for this person to wake up um, maybe they were a bit behind <laughs> and so i think they've come to realize that this is a spiritual connection tell me a bit more about this please spirit yep strength card and it's taken this person a lot of strength and a lot of courage um, to move towards you okay so I, I do feel like this person they realize that they're very much connected to you six of cups is also a reconciliation card so i feel like this person's having a lot of nostalgia and memories about you perhaps you also have a lot of memories with this person or you find it difficult to sort of let them go um you know because i do feel that you also sense that there's a connection here but it's been so long capricorn that you've almost decided maybe um, maybe you feel like you imagined it or you feel like it was one-sided, okay? I do feel like this person is coming in to make an offer. I'm going to get some cross energies on this person. Cross energies, please, spirit. What are this person's feelings and intentions towards Capricorn now in the second half of December? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Well, there you are, Capricorn. So they're seeing you in your Queen of Pentacles energy Seeing you as someone that's very nurturing, also a very um, good choice for the long term, a wise choice, um, someone that they would want to settle down with. We've got, ah, and the hangs man and the three of swords. So they're feeling separation between you. The hangman means that things have been on pause, okay? Um, they have a foot towards you, Capricorn, but there is something that's been holding this person back. With the three of swords, there could be a third party in the mix here. Eight of swords, they're trapped in the mind about you, Capricorn. They feel like they can't let you go as i said um and the eight of swords does mean that it could be that they have been stuck for some time maybe because there's some kind of an outside um situation you know for some of you there could be a third party um and for others of you there's a sense of this person being trapped and having not been able to move towards you um but also not being able to get you out of their mind okay with that eight of swords a lot of anxiety a lot of going around and around in their mind um and the nine of swords as i said that guy so we have the eight and the nine of swords and we've got the five of cups and then we've got the six of cups so this person has a lot of sadness and regrets with respect to you um whatever they've done capricorn or even if it's just that they weren't making the effort or maybe that they weren't realizing what was between you. They're having a lot of regrets. There's a lot of spilt cups here. They're thinking about it a lot. They want some kind of reconciliation with you. They are feeling quite stuck, two of swords, but they are still holding on to you, four of pentacles. So what action are they going to take towards Capricorn, please, spirit? Four of swords, they're in a state of introspection. They're going within to think about things. And they're coming towards you with an offer, Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is the Ace of Pentacles is a committed offer. So I feel like Capricorn, they know that they're not able to come towards you with anything less than something solid because you're actually at that point where you're not going to take anything less than what you deserve. Um, you know, for some of you, you have moved on and you might be in a commitment, Capricorn. Um, with the Empress card, maybe you are. This is the wife and the mother, as I said, so that could apply. Um, you know, but this person, it's like they want to move towards you. And when they come in Capricorn, they want to give you something quite solid with the Ace of Pentacles. Can you clarify that, please, Spirit? I feel like this person's very burdened. There we go. Nine of Cups. Okay, you are very much a wish. I feel like this person has been selfish. They know that you know they tried to get away with something here with the Seven of Swords. That's also that High Priestess energy. So... It could be that you felt this person was hiding something from you um, or something hasn't been quite right or there's a th the sense of things that haven't been revealed. Um, so this person could be also quite trapped because they feel like they need to maybe come clean about something um, or they feel, you know, that they got caught red handed. So now they're a little bit sort of scared or sheepish about coming towards you. Nine of Cups, though, and the Ace of Pentacles, it is their wish to come forward and offer you something um, solid. I do get a sense this person was selfish. 
um, and has been selfish in the connection. So they're starting to have some realizations about that. And we have a page of cups and the world and the justice card and the six of wands. I'm going to take all of them. So Capricorn, what I'm getting with this is this person is coming in to make that offer. Another card that's apologetic, page of cups. I feel like this person's a bit emotionally immature. Um, but they are maturing and have matured in the time that you've had this separation. Um, the world card, they want to close out an old cycle with you. Also could be dealing with someone that lives at a distance. The justice card, something needs to be made right between the two of you. So this is karmic justice. So I do feel like this person realizes that something was out of balance. This is also the card of marriage and divorce. So for some of you, there's a third party situation and that could be a factor, but I'm seeing this more so um, as a card about making things right, okay, justice. And Capricorn, for you, either way, you've been doing the work and I think justice will be served for you either way. Karmic justice, meaning that you haven't suffered in vain. So the universe is gonna give you the rewards um, for all the work that you've done. So I think you're gonna be happy either way, but there is something here that needs to be closed out and resolved between you and this person. And six of wands means this person wants victory with you. So whilst they're a bit sheepish, I think they're gonna come in they want your attention and they want to give you attention. Six of Wands is very much that recognition energy. So as I said, this person's very much seeing you. Um, I just looked up and it was 11.11 on the timestamp. This person is seeing you as a divine feminine, as a divine counterpart. So this person, they're going to come in. They want to make an offer to you. It's your choice what you want to do with it, Capricorn. I'm going to get you a um, romance angel. Romance angel, please, for Capricorn. Okay, codependency. When I get that Six of Pentacles, that's sort of my codependent card as well, Cappy. So codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, firstly, maybe there were or are addictions at play. So that might be something that needed to be worked on. And that could be why timing has been a factor, throwing the connection off balance. Codependency, also Capricorn. Now, this could be something that you needed to work on. Because when I feel that with the Six of Pentacles, perhaps you were over-investing in this person and you were putting all your worth into their actions and what they were giving you, which was nothing. Six of Pentacles, breadcrumbs, right? So you might have needed to work on that on your side. Um, and so maybe also this person, you know, often with counterparts, this is a mirror situation. So perhaps this person also had some codependency issues or perhaps there's codependency going on um, outside of your connection with third parties, etc. Okay, let's get one more. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I feel like this person misses being playful with you. You know, I do feel like this person and you, it's like when you come together, it sort of feels like home. Six of Cups is my very much like, it's like a soulmate energy. You feel like you can just be, you know, that inner child with one another and I think this person misses that and they want to come in and be playful with you whether or not you want to take it from them because Capricorn maybe you've moved on you deserve love you are lovable exactly so confirming what I said Capricorn I think there was a lesson here that you needed to learn about being you know that you are lovable and I think this person seeing you as lovable children your love life is being affected by children so this again I do have the Empress card wife and mother so again that could be a factor either on your side or their side um, you know, or otherwise this is sometimes my inner child card. So it could be that there was some codependent habits, etc., that needed to be healed. Temperance card is a card about healing as well. So everything comes together in the right time because, you know, um, sometimes with counterparts, they come together, then they get pulled away from one another because there's healing to take place. Okay. What else do we have? One more. Attraction. So this person is very attracted to you. The Empress, she's very um, beautiful or attractive um, and also you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so Capricorn I think you are learning to just enjoy the moment um, this person they are having difficulty to let go of the past okay the five of cups means that you know this person there is an opportunity here for a relationship should you choose Capricorn but there's a lot of spilt cups here so you know um, the Hanged Man is also a card about surrender. So there is a need for the two of you, if you do decide to move forward, to surrender what's been. And also Capricorn, for you to surrender what's been, to move forward with or without this person and, you know, to have, um, you know, the love that you deserve. Okay. All right, Capricorn, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you in two weeks' time. Lots of love.